I am Jim Pinson. Welcome back. We're going to get some more tags and licks today. But first we're going to look at the very, very, very most important tag that any bluegrass banjo player ever need concern himself with for at least the first month that you play. This is a tag that takes about five seconds to learn and about a year and a half to perfect and you will never see it in tablature correct because you just can't write what I'm about to do. It's, it's a scrug roll or scrug slide. It's, it's probably the single most heard thing in bluegrass banjo. Right? Okay, it's it's a double thumb roll. Thumb, index, thumb, middle on a three, two, five, one. And the simple, simple, simple little slide from the two to the three on the third string. But I'm not fretting with third string. Or the third fret. Because if I do, it'll sound like this. If I slide it to the fourth fret, which is what most tablature shows it as, it sounds like this. Okay, so we're going to tear that apart and look at it, and we're going to look at a couple other licks, maybe some intro licks and maybe some end tags. But we're going to focus mostly on the one Scruggs tag. If you just, if you master this one tag in your first month of playing, you're, you're doing great. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, as I, as I shoot this, we're looking at the Scruggs slide again. Scruggs roll, whatever you want to call it. Um, when Bill Keith sat down to tag this, uh, tab this stuff for the Black Book, the Earl Scruggs book, at one point he asked Earl, what do you call this? And Earl said, I don't call them anything. <laughs> they have names. But we all call this something like the Scruggs roll or the Scruggs slide. Okay, watch closely, if you can see closely, how little movement my middle finger is making on the third string. Starts with a good solid second fret. I'm moving it up over the third fret and killing it there. Doesn't sound like anything, right? It's followed by the open second string, but the open second string can't step on it. It has to be... That's the whole secret to it, right there. If you can do that, you're there. But it'll take a little while because instinctively you want to perform one completely before you perform the other. So you want to do the whole slide then hit the open string and it'll sound like this. You want this. It still doesn't sound like much until you put the other two finger or the other two strings in. An easy way to learn this, the wrong way is to play it quiet and fast like this. That, that masks errors. It, it covers mistakes. You want to be able to hear each of the four notes plus that little bit of a, there's a little fake going on. It sounds like a slide or a bend that's going on. There's really no, nothing going on at all. It's all, it, this is the genius of Earl Scruggs. Practice it about this speed. If you can pull it off at that speed, you can pull it off at any speed. And the right hand for the, the scrug slide is very simple. It's just this. There's just a little bit of bounce in it. So it's not da 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 da. It's da 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 da. YouTube has a limit of uh, five minutes per video, so I'm going to have to cut it off here. I can't do any more tags in this. Stay tuned. I'll film that very soon, and we'll have some more tags. But for now, four minutes really is an appropriate time to spend learning the subtleties of the Scruggs roll. It's really a very... The, the devil is in the details on this one. So just practice, 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 and you'll get it. Okay?